Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to make RGB particles ring by using Particles Info Node in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Press Shift A and add a Bezier curve circle. Hit the S key and scale up the circle. This circle will be a guide for the particles to follow. Now, we need a particles emitter. Press Shift A and add a plane. Name the plane as emitter. Rotate the plane 90 degrees on the Y axis. Move the plane on the Y axis so that its origin overlap with the circle. Let's add particle system for the plane. Click on the particles properties tab and add a new particle system. When we play the animation, we can see the particles fall straight down. We want the particles to follow this circle. To do that, select the circle and go to physics properties menu. Click on the force field. Select the type of field as curve guide. Let's hit the spacebar and play the animation. There we go. We can also change the speed of the particles. Select the emitter and click on the particles tab. Set the lifetime to frame 100. So, each particle will have a life for 100 frames. Let's set the end frame to 100. So, it will stop emitting particles at frame 100. Finally, set the end frame of the playback and rendering to 100. It is time to shading for the particles. We need an instance object to add material for the particles. You can add any object. I want to add cube. Press Shift A and add a cube. Select the emitter again. Scroll down to render section. Switch to object as render type. Select the cube by eyedropper as instance object. There we go. As you can see, the particles has become cube shape. We can scale the particles. Let's set the scale value to 0.1 and scale up the particles. Also we can disable the show emitter option. In this case, the emitter object won't be displayed in render result. Let's split the 3D viewport. Switch to shader editor. Press N key and close the right toolbar menu. Select the cube. Click on the new button and add a new material for the cube. Select the principal BSDF and delete. Press Shift A and emission shader. Plug the emission node to surface node of the material output. Be sure that you use Cycles Render Engine. Go over the 3D viewport, press C key and switch to Render Preview Mode. There we go. We can change the emission color. Also we can change the strength of the emission. Let's set the emission strength to 5. We want some particles are red, some of them green and others blue. To do that, we need a particle info node. On the shader editor, press Shift A and a particle info node. Index node is the number of the particles. The particles are numbered in the order that they're emitted. We have 1000 total particles in this particle system. So, each particles are numbered from 0 to 1000. We can do something like change the color of the particle depending on which number it is. To do that, we need a map range node. Press Shift A and add map range converter. 
Plug the index node to value node. We will convert it from 0 to 1000. Now, we need a color ramp converter also. Let's add a color ramp converter. Plug the the result node to factor node of the color ramp. Plug the color node to color node of the emission shader. The first particles emitted will be black color and the last particles will be white. Let's play the animation and see what to happen. Only a couple of particles have black color. We need to select the black color and slide it to right. There we go. Also transition of the color looks smooth. We want the transition would be sharp from black to white. To do that, we need to switch to constant interpolation. We can also add new color. Click on the plus button and select any color. Now, let's change the colors as red, green and blue. There we go. Let's bake the particle system. Select the emitter, go to particle properties menu, go to cache section and bake the particle system. It is time to render. Close the shader editor window. We can hide the cube and the circle in viewport and render result. Switch to solid view. Let's add a plane and scale up enough. Move the plane down so that below the particles. Press numpad 7 and go to top view. Switch to Render Preview Mode. Go to Material Properties menu and add a new material for the plane. Set the metallic and roughness values to 1. Go to World Properties menu and set the color all the way to black. Switch to Solid Preview Mode again. We need a camera for rendering. Let's add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 and align the camera angle to view. Go to Output Properties menu, set the resolution X and Y to 1080 pixel. Press G and G mouse wheel to adjust the camera framing. Select the output file path. Set the file format AVI JPEG. Go to Render Properties menu. Set the maximum samples to 64. Go to Render menu and click on the Render animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.